Hey guys, my name's Chris and this is Financial Fitness. And today I want to talk to you about Goldman Sachs and what they're doing and what it might mean for us, us gold and precious metals holders that enjoy unadulterated wealth, wealth protection, you know, that stuff that the iconic families of the world hold to protect their wealth. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Goldman Sachs moved their price from 2000 to 2150 Okay, so why is that a big deal? What's the big deal with that? It's 150 bucks. Well, the big deal is when gold goes to 2000 2100 and or 2150 it is going to make the gold miners move. And in this environment, when we're printing staggering amounts of money, MMT, more money today, we're almost or at or past a trillion a month. It's ridiculous. When the guy down the road, the guy I work with, the, guy, the average Joe, when he wakes up, and I don't know when that is. I kind of thought 15% inflation would woke everybody up. <laughs> but when it goes to 20, 25, 30, I don't know, maybe they'll wake up at 35% inflation. I don't know, but when they do, they are going to run to gold miners because it's going to be going up. Just like cryptos. You know, I heard a guy the other day, he said, who's going to buy an ounce of silver at 100 bucks?" I said, the same guy that buys dog coin. <laughs> People like to buy things when they're going up. It takes a special person to be a contrarian and buy early when it's not, when it's down. And that's what, that's what I'm so excited about because I am reviewing a junior miner I get pretty pumped up when I talk about gold miners because I just I just know one day what's going to happen. Or I think I do anyway. And it's important for me to say that I do not own this company. But let me show you who does. BlackRock. BlackRock. Big monster BlackRock owns this junior miner. And I thought that was pretty impressive. And look at these two guys. Doug Casey and Rick Rule own GLDG. When I found this out, I thought it was really neat because they are known for just having diamond hands, getting there early, understanding the narrative, and just waiting. And they will wait for years. Doug Casey has said, when people figure out the monetary system is broken and inflation is eating their wealth out from under them, quote, it will be like fitting the contents of the Hoover Dam in a garden hose. <laughs> and I've always liked that when I use it often. And Rick Rule is best known, I guess, his best trade, he said, was for uranium. He figured out the price. He figured out the narrative. He bought at 10 cents. He talks about it going all the way down to one penny. And then it went up to a dollar, and then, I don't know, it went way up past that. But that's the kind of people that own GLDG. It's really neat. Let's keep going. All right, let's get into the company a little bit. I want you to notice on that pie chart, 18% of what they're mining is copper. Now, a lot of times they'll have different miners that have zinc, and they'll have other uh, minerals that come out of the ground. But copper is one of my favorites because it takes 400 to 500 percent more copper to build the new cars. That's a that's a really good bonus for GLDG. It's important to understand the speculative junior miners, not so much this one, but some of the other crazy ones I own in crazy communist foreign countries, some of them will probably be nationalized. Uh and that's, huh, that's a big problem. It brings to mind Robert Kiyosaki. He had a mine in China. They found some gold. They were going to go start mining. And the Chinese government found out about it, about how much gold they had, and nationalized it overnight. Told him he was polluting the water like they care. <laughs> Told him he was polluting the water, and that was the end of it. He was just out. And that's likely in places like China. That's why I want to point this out. Check it out. In Brazil, there are seven different projects. In friendly Canada, there's two. Colombia, three. Peru, one. In the USA, two. 
Now that's being very diversified as far as projects, uh, you know, in different areas. Because even if one did get nationalized, it really wouldn't be that big of a deal with a portfolio like that. Let's look at the team and if we think they can be successful and what they've done in the past. Check it out. It looks pretty good. Amir founded Uranium Energy Corp. Between March 2020 and November 2021, it has had a 1,035% return. And his Uranium Royalty Corporation, between March 2020 and November 2021, has had an 875% return. Needless to say, Amir knocked it out of the park last year with his uranium stocks. And now he's on to Gold Mining, Inc. Now, it's important to know about how many ounces of gold that are in the ground when it comes to these junior miners. And there's an estimated of 32 million ounces of gold in the ground. And, and if you run the numbers, it's about $3.5 an ounce in the ground. And most junior miners are like 50 bucks an ounce in the ground. It, that's a big plus. Not to mention the 20 million they have on the sidelines in liquid hard cash. It looks pretty good. Now I want to show you what's going on with the central bankers and their gold holdings. Check it out. I want you to notice the blue, differentiate between the blue and the yellow. Blue is developed markets and the rest of the world is yellow. And something happened in 2008. In 2008, we let the inflationary boogeyman out of the bag. We've already been taken off the gold standard in 71, but now they can absolutely print money out of thin air without a shadow of a doubt. But the central bankers are holding gold all over the world. This is really interesting to me. Now look at this cup and handle chart. That's a really nice cup and handle. It's over about 10 years, and it looks like, it looks perfect to me. I'm not a chart analysis, but man, that's just worth noting. Take a screenshot. Now let's get into price predictions. H.C. Wainwright has it at $6. And Haywood has it at $4.25. Now, keep in mind, these analysts have an intimate knowledge of the company and cover it for years. They often visit these projects personally. I hope you like my presentation and my review of GLDG. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button, subscribe, and push that ring the bell button because I'm going to be continuing to bring you stuff that I think will make us money in the future. And if you want more info on GLDG, go to www.gldgnews.com and you will get updates and just everything you need to really get in the meat of this company. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow.